We're looking at function composition where the functions are defined by a table. And I'm going to do the middle two right here. I'm going to skip the first one and just do these middle two. And we're going to start by doing g of f of 3. Now, I always work inside to out. And on this problem, you have to work from the inside out. So first of all, we're going to take 3 and f it. So what is f of 3? Here's the f column. And the 3 is the input. So 3 is the input. And when you f it, you get out 5. So that right there tells you that f of 3 equals 5. And I'm going to swap it in right here. So I replaced f of 3 by 5. Now the g function is inputting the 5. So here's the input of 5. But now we're applying the g function, which is the last column. So that's going to go over here and output a 9. Can't really read that. There we go. Output a 9. So g of f of 3 is 9. Let's go ahead and check our answer. There we go. We're going to do f of f of 5. So we're going to take 5 and f it twice. All right, I'm going to erase these scribbles here. Now, input is five. I'm not using the G column here at all. I'm applying only the F function. So don't look at the third column. We're only gonna use the middle or the second column here. The input is five and that uh, output is four. So that means I'm replacing, I'll just write that right here. F of five equals four. So I'm replacing f of 5 with a 4. Now I'm going to take 4 and f it, and the output is 8. So that goes right here, and my output is 8. Now on the other two parts, here you're going to apply the g function, and your input will be 9. Whatever that output is, you can see it on the table, you're going to then apply the f function to the output. And same thing on the last one, you're going to apply the g function to 0 at the top, and then you're going to apply the g function to that output and see what you get.